What can I do for you? Can you get in? No, I have a key. This is uh, you, the making sure I give it to you guys because I need a copy for that. And um, thank you. Okay. All right, thank you, honey. I know how much good it's going to do, but we'll see. You haven't made any sales today. Say it again? I said you haven't made any sales today. No, in the morning, I'm selling loud. What's that? In the morning, I'm so busy. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. No. I'm awful. One guy coming, 480. One guy coming, 1200 coming in. One lady coming, 600. So I'm selling 2500 already. Oh, but, then but she's so angry. You know, I want to leave her early. And I'm selling last, she's angry. Oh, you sell more than her. But they you do they do gold teeth over there as well. You own? I know, but you know, my brother in law is, he make it. He's selling, my sister selling him. I know, you cornered the market, right? Well, your sister wanted me to come in earlier on Friday and Saturday. Talk to her. Well, Maybe you have a two hour. Yeah, yeah. 10, yeah. 11, 12, two hour, right? Uh, oh, not here. I'm in front of there. Uh, I can't stand over there. I mean, I don't do security. She'd actually have to hire me. Uh, but it's like... Uh, to have my presence here on this street <laughs> uh, Friday and Saturday from 10 o'clock I'm gonna need uh, $35 a day yeah. <laughs> you, can, you can tell her that how many hours for those two hours because you want me to come in at 10 are uh, you have friends? Huh? You have friends? No, I mean, yeah, just you know, I, I can influence the whole street. I can influence the whole street. How you doing? Do that on the street next time, player. What happened to all the mirrors, man? And the one over there in that hallway? We got the purple paint to paint that shit? Whatever. They the only one making money, as far as I can tell. Oh, him? Gold people don't want to make money, man. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? They make two, three thousand dollars every day. On Saturday morning when I get here, I get here about 9.15. 9.15? You done lost your mind? You didn't hear it though 45 fucking minutes early. You don't, they ain't paying you for it. No, man. I get ahead and clean up. Because in the heat of time, I don't get a chance to do it. At least I have clean the two bathrooms and sweep them off this thing. Try to freshen it up, but... Most morning when I get here on Saturday, 
It's already people from the country and other little areas, rural areas of Georgia, lined up out there ready for teaching. They got five or six people out there every Saturday morning. That's why they want me here. They're making money. That's why they want me. He said, give me another one alcohol. Hey man. By the way, it's working a little bit. What? Those boys know my channel. Who? I don't know who, but those boys know my YouTube channel because something shit that happened between me and Terry yesterday, blood saw, but no teeth. Move them guy. I put that shit up on YouTube. Terry. That's his name. Well, tattoos yeah. Ain't no muscle. Yeah, ain't no muscle. Tall guy. No he said he was. In any event, he done saw himself on YouTube today. Oh, from yesterday? A little effective. How the fuck? What do you mean you've seen it? Tanisha showed it to me. She been down she here? She followed you, yeah. She came here this morning. <laughs> yeah, I know she followed me. She followed you on your uh, YouTube. Yeah. You know who else follow it? Underground. That's good. Really good. That's why I put it up there. Know what they're working at. That's why I put it up here. Hey, man. Come here. No, dude, dude. Sir, sir. Sir, is that your son? Listen. They'll steal that thing from him down here. That iPad that he walking with so la da He need to put that up. He need to put it up. I know, see niggas just trying to show their ass, trying to help them out. Yeah, and, some folk there, I found in life, man, you got a need ass like you found. Mm -hmm. Right, I just need to focus on some other shit. That's what I said. I just need to focus on some other shit. <laughs> that be my pro. Let me have my problem when I'm down here, man. Too, man. <laughs> hey, Armstrong. Ooh. I don't know what you know. So, I'm just going to tell you anyway, guy with the white shirt, the red hat, with the uh, laptop bag, uh, the whole bag was full of nothing but liquor bottles. Passed them off to a guy in a, a, a light blue bag, like a knapsack, backpack. Took all those liquor bottles out of his thing, put them in his. I guess he's selling them down here on the street. I don't know. I'm just telling you whether you know or not. I don't know, but I'm just going to tell you. What's the description again? White, white, white shirt? White shirt, a light blue, like like the Houston Oilers. Remember the Houston Oilers? Light blue, knapsack, nothing but Tanqueray and gin bottles in there. The black guy? Black guy. Where, where is he at then? I don't know. He, he went out he hit the street that way you know, 10, 15 minutes ago. Just so you know. But the guy who passed, but the guy who passed them off to him, white t-shirt, red hat with the black laptop bag they were all in there and so he said he'd come back down tomorrow you know just hook the guy up so i got video of the exchange so i'm just letting you know i don't know what y'all want to do with it yeah because i need to gain compliance just like the videos i put I put the video so y'all can see them so y'all can see what i'm going through so i'm trying to gain compliance it's the soft approach Right, and, and then if, if then you can see it escalate as it goes along. If it has to go that way, it just won't look like I just did this shit for no reason. And then 
I give you a chance to do your job like I agree. Okay. It's a real tall dude. Let me show him to you. I caught him in here smoking crack. He stepped ahead and fucking go with him. Guys, same guys yesterday? No, that's what happened. No. Don't come in here no more. That one right there. You know what you did? What I do? Stood right here, put that damn crack on that goddamn shit. Man, you a goddamn liar. Stand, stand. I ain't gonna tell on you. I ain't gonna tell on you now. I ain't gonna tell on you now. Man, damn you, man. All right, man. It's all easy. Man, you got that tripping, man. It's all easy. But I told you what I caught you doing that. You ain't caught me doing shit. Okay. All right. I managed to place with this guy. So your word is null and void. You might as well stop talking. You just don't come I, back into the my place. Word, my word don't hurt though. But no, this but, but all this shit here, nigga, we done. And I see, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna. Ain't gonna hey, 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 hey. Be outside. Nigga. See how dirty he is, Slim? Your word's no good here, man. I, I gotta piss you. What's that, sir? What man? I can't hear you. I said, no, I run the mall with this dude. I'm, Gentlemen, I don't really like you loitering in front of my building. What? I don't really like you loitering in front of my building. It's not gonna work out for you, player. I'm telling you. Who are you talking to, though? Talking to you. Talking hey, to him. Talking to me. Sure, I am. Oh, you bet. Okay. And I ain't in front of that door. I'm good. I don't really like you loitering in front of the building. Told me that. Yeah, I don't care what up. the police told you, man. Yeah, you okay. Mr. York, I'm going to need you to move. Who? Joshua York. You're not going to move, Mr. York? I tell you what, Mr. York. Why you got to do it like that, though, Lord? Huh? Why you got to do it like that? You're not paying attention. Huh? So, no, he's not. So, listen, Mr. York. Which one is that? This dude right here. I don't want him loitering in front of the building, man. So, I understand. So, if you're going to continue to sit there, the first step is I'm just going to kick you out the building. You won't be able to walk back in the building. Outside long? That's going to be a mediated situation if it's possible. You going to take care of it for me? I, no, if he, if, I just want to see like, is there any wrong going on? Yeah. I don't want people loitering in front of the building, especially the drug dealers. In the back? No. Front, back, drug dealers. I, in front, away from the door also? I don't want no drug dealers loitering in front of the building. No drug dealers, none yeah, of the gamblers. That's his label, huh? He the crew chief. Huh? Demetrius Malone said he a crew chief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, let me get no meat. Let me get no meat. Hey, why you know everybody's name? Can I ask you a question? Chattel Fowl. But why? How you, how you get to know my name? It's not even relevant, <laughs> right? Now you cool my ex. She didn't we, tell me. Huh? She didn't tell she me. Didn't? No. I know, you do, you do your research, fanatic, I know. But the average person, to be honest with you, the average person wouldn't even have even tried to attempt to get this job back. Going through all that. I didn't try to get it, job. They called me. They called me. You were in Boston? So, I mean, he can run it however he want to run it. But he's not even, he's not beefing with you. He just, I mean, it's not about the beef. It's about I know what he do. Like, if you were sitting out here, I know what you do, right? I ain't never seen you sell drugs. I ain't never seen you run the shell game. You know, I might be a little lax unless you was out here selling your shit. But see now, the drug dealers and the gamblers, I already know what the fuck they do. And because they hustlers, like you, when you can get it, you're going to get it, you got to get it. Because the opportunity is there, you're going to make that money. And that's just the way the game is. So, so if he's not selling any drugs, he just, he just... Nah, you know, man, shit, I just... That man that Nell just said, long we on the sidewalk, he ain't got nothing to do with the Metro Mall. That no, man just man, said just, that, you bro. Know, you know, we ain't you got... Know, you know that person last night, you know what? You know he's not hooked over there. He not heard nobody. You don't need Paul to be out here talking to us. You probably patrolling it now. Shut up! 
fuck you. Shut up talking to me, nigga. I don't like, you know. No, he running his mouth. They not paying attention. He not paying attention. He think he. Man, I ain't going hard yet. This is soft. <laughs> this is still the soft approach. Shut, dude. I ain't even gonna. I ain't, I ain't even gonna engage you. But, but see, Mr. York don't want to move. So, Mr. York, don't come back into the property anymore. You want to sit here and loiter in front of the building? Nah. You on the outside. No, we, it's just because me and you speaking, maybe that's he. But look, I just want, look, you know what, though? I just feel like this long. He's not, he's not selling no drugs. He's not, he's not even talking back to him. I haven't even said, heard him say a word yet. And that's I, not even him. That's not even, he, he's really trying to chill. The man deal drugs. I know the man deal drugs. I know that nigga deal drugs, too. I know it. I'm not guessing about it. I'm not guessing about it. You ain't seeing me do it. I'm not guessing about it. At this stage of the game, I'm not guessing about shit. And I don't put shit on people that they don't deserve. I just don't do it. I ain't guessing about nothing. I don't give a fuck what you I mean, you know, at the end of the day, this is your job. You know what I mean? Just speaking on general purpose. If he's not selling the drugs, why would you bail him from the inside from something that from the outside? Because you feel he's not listening? Don't loiter in front of the building, right? I'm not even going hard as I was last time. Cause last time I came down here looking to catch niggas. I came down here <laughs> looking to catch them. I was on the block. I'm standing there watching people. I got my binoculars. I'm looking to catch niggas. Nigga everybody naming it. Nigga <laughs> just told me my name, man. <laughs> right? But now I'm not even looking. I'm not even looking to push you off the block because I was looking to push people past Alabama and past the MLK. But now I'm saying, look, okay. How far? Okay, what? No, how no, far, no. How, that, far, that, that, how that, far? Tell me how far you say it. So, you know what? The end of my building's right there. This part right here, right there. Yeah. So if you see somebody selling drugs right here, you ain't gonna bother? I ain't, I ain't coming down here to fuck with you. You ain't gonna film me either? Oh wow, well, shit. Well, you know. You gonna open? You gonna make any documentary? <laughs> you planning on it? I know somebody's planning on it, but I it ain't me. Other things up your sleeve. I got a whole bunch of shit. There's I'm a whole bunch. working. You got some things up your sleeve. There's a whole bunch of shit I got that ain't even on YouTube. Ain't even on it. This shit I won't even put on YouTube. I got a lot of shit. Remember, I was walking yeah. around with this camera but, for a year and three months. Wow. And right. How many and it, days you had to spend? You did. Two days. I was in jail for two days. Oh, that's it? That's it. Yeah. Right? And so now, and I don't hide this shit. I tell you what I'm doing. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to do it. You don't want to just be a pastor. It's more action. action right? So, listen. Y'all niggas cut up out here, y'all can expect in a day or two to see it up on YouTube. That's it. Right? You like to do that without consent, though, Lauren? What you you don't need no consent. So you, who, you ain't nobody that you just genuinely cool with you? I'm having a conversation with you. I'm not going to say we chums or putties or pals. Okay. My right here, so I, I, But we ain't going at each other's throat. Come on, Roscoe. Oh, my bad, homie. You, you one of the most relaxed weed men out here. So I don't really want to go at you like that unless I got to. I don't need nobody loitering in front of the business. I know what you do though, I know. So, right, you don't do that, I ain't gonna be at you. All right, that's the move, the name Rock. Okay, you rock, right, you rock, you, you rock over there, but over here you Roscoe Higgins. Hey, don't do that. Okay, so, be rock. I ain't loitering though. Loitering is just standing about. I got you. Okay, we good? Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Smell clean, they come back. This is what I say to them. Like their suit. Don't do no crazy shit in here. What you do out there on that damn sidewalk, we ain't got nothing, I ain't got nothing to do with that. Don't do it in here. Yeah, well, don't loiter in front of the building. I, I, put, I push it out in front of the building. I mean, that's where I'm at with it. Cause I can't have drug dealers in in, in Pongo. I won't have it. So, and you see the way APD rolled up. 
No, but they still called him Mr. Bloodsaw. That that was that was some that was putting you on notice because they didn't know his name. I didn't know his name either until you said it yesterday. Yeah, I know he got a problem with it too. He don't really like that. Summer, during the summer, uh, well, let's say uh, about September, somewhere, October, somewhere last year. That man got busted over in the hallway. He had a pistol on him. And he was getting the Tri Case may not even go on the trial yet. But, um, you know, the craziest thing is they pulled a couple of guns out of ADP Street last year. And so I assume there's a weapon here or there, at least one. And here, here, and there's some guys walking through here with guns on them. Mm -hmm. I assume that. <laughs> Might be right too. More likely here than there, but either or. Say so he got his own company. Hey, Rock, come here, man. So who you got working for you, baby? Huh? Who you got working for you? Nobody. Oh, you just doing it on your own? Yeah. That nigga right there need a job. Who that? That nigga right there. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga right there need a job. Man, they just Geiger came to court on me this morning, man. Like, no, for fucking. Standing on property, unauthorized person. That was the charge with unauthorized person. This nigga came in and I put so much force down to get my unauthorized person raised to criminal trespass. Nigga, I'm gonna take a plea. Cause see, I was taking the unauthorized person shit to try. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all, I don't need no lawyer none of that shit. Unauthorized person, you trying to tell me you caught me looking in the motherfucking window or caught. First off, fuck nigga that my car, we got a good picture of this shit right now. I ain't worried about teaching each other. You know what I'm saying? What's up? Oh! You did me. So we're gonna take that to try. You see me picking a window, yeah, but in my fucking window, what? You feel what I'm saying? What? Now let that go. Now you wanna raise it up to criminal trespass, but get what you fucked up at. You tell me I got a criminal trespass from the uh, it's starting date was 2012, April. Fuck me, I was in prison then, man. I'm chilling on y'all. Get your paperwork right, boy. Nigga, take your file on that and show you a line. That's why I love video. <laughs> I mean, because all I gotta do is date it. I don't even, I don't time it. And, and then there, you just can't get around it. Fuck it. Yeah, here's the video. I guess, but you know, I gotta do the paperwork. Yeah, he's a, he, he turned around like, oh, well, he was an asshole. I mean, I first met him. I mean, me and him was bumping like this. And you can't, you know, like you front off these other dudes, you can't front off rock. You gotta go at him. And, and if y'all if bump, I, 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 you know, one time, like it was 20 March 12, it was him, Fred, and Terry. I was worried about him more than the other two. One of them little guys that hang around with him, and them, the little tall school. And some spears. They might be in there. Mouth one day kept talking shit to that boy. Got up out there to us, man. I don't know why you're going to do that. I don't fuck with nobody, man. Leave me alone. Kept on talking. Boy, he caught him right there. You know what they speak all of them down right there? Oh, man. Look. Yeah, you that I, you that I had to shoot. I, I thought I had to shoot him. I mean, he he in front of ball head talking about going around ball head telling us go around the corner. I just told that nigga man if you ever raise my hand, you I'ma put some bullets in you dead. I mean, he he just you know I hate the way people from the north come down here and really sometimes play the people from the south like they punks and they bitches and they all that. I'm not like that. I say, you know what? Don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on him. I don't. I, I made a mistake doing that. There was a guy who used to hang around me here in, uh, with Frank. He from New York. His last name ain't Grant. Everybody called him Chris. I got to stab me in my arm, baby. Feeding him. Helping him. Everything. He had no way to stay at. I had a hotel room that I had went through some shit with my wife. I went and stayed at the hotel for, I got it for a whole month. So he didn't have nowhere to stay. When I went back home, I gave him the hotel room and everything. And they stabbed me in my arm, October 5th. I ain't had that back door. Uh, it's New York. Yeah, New York. Yeah, down, man. People, people from the Northeast, 
and the Midwest, I don't know about the West, Northeast and the Midwest, they're a little more ruthless than they are from the South. That's just my opinion. Right? But I still don't sleep on nobody from the South. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I don't, do, you know, I think, oh, they, they too slow, they too this, they too that. Like, you, you know what, man, you in their house. You in their house. They've been here all their life. Nigga, you just got here five years ago. You don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> like, you come down here, like, I remember when McFarland told this one guy, he's from D.C., right? And, and the boys had robbed him with the shell game and, you know, and he went up, he went to the hotel here to get his boy and they came back and like, McFarland was like, dude, how you gonna come in somebody else's hood trying to, you know, raise up, man? You don't know what the fuck is going on around here. <laughs> you must have lost your mind. Yeah, because the whole block is about to send on you. Yeah. Dudes who ain't got nothing to do with it running across the street, getting a punch in, getting a kick in, getting a stomp in. I've seen that in many times. One of these guys out here get to fight with one of these out of town dudes. I don't care what the local dude did, but all these other folks gonna take the local dude's side against whoever is from whatever. I've just seen it happen in the block too many times. Beat the shit out of them guys like that. About, about three months ago, there was a little white boy here. Uh, I told him at the door, I said, look, this is my son at the door. I said, I'm going to play that game in here. I'm going to talk to him. So he decided he's going to play it anyway. Lost $100. One was $100 back. They wanted to get it back to him. I said, look, they did have no intentions to get it back to him. So one of them tried to swing on him. Shit, that white boy beat the hell. Beat two of them. Hey. Then about three or four of them had got him to grab him. I'm like, oh, hell no. Y'all didn't jump on him, man. I grabbed him and took him out of the door. Yeah, it's about to get. Yeah, it's about to get at me. Tell Roscoe to move. Tell Rock to move. I forget your name. What, what, what's wrong? What happened? Not talking to me. No, honey. Okay. Let me see it right quick. Somebody just slapped me. I'm finna go spread in they ill. Did Anthony Smith slap you, honey? Thank you.